Hi guys, it's me, Wussy, and Richard's in the kitchen, Hi. and Minnie is here bringing me a gazillion, oh, a gazillion toys. She just keeps bringing everything over, seeing which one I want to play with, and she's now playing with a ball, and I'm being ignored. Anyway, we hope you are well. Um, I'm trying to think what vlog this is following. Probably our big gay pancakes and podcast video. Um, so, yeah, that was fun to make. But more importantly, it was fun to eat. Uh, we're going to be a bit more healthy tonight. Richard's cooking up a risotto, which is the fifth and final meal from our HelloFresh. I mean, it's not the final one because we've got HelloFresh coming again on Friday. Um, so uh, we've always been having different meals. I know, oh, it's like never ending. Um, yeah. Yes, and obviously I cut his hair and messed up the back. So hopefully that's gonna look better in a few days. But anyway, we're gonna have risotto and then also we've had a few deliveries come today. So we're gonna check them out. Ooh. Oh, and I'm just looking at this picture. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna focus very well. Oh, this is us in Florida with our silly Mickey ear hats on. Obviously not silly at all, they're brilliant. I'm just flicking through old photos, probably still feeling the Disney blues, which probably aren't gonna go away until I can go back. So when will that be? Oh. Anyway, we're gonna crack on with the vlog. So yeah, let's go. Okay, that's looking good. I feel like you've finished making it. Is that the whole risotto? No. So next I've got to um, put in the water. Um, but where's the actual risotto? Is that it? This is the risotto. And then I'm about to put in the chicken stock and the water, which will obviously thicken it all up and make it risotto-like. This is at the minute just chilling. This is, we've got uh, bacon lardons in there. We've got onion, we've got garlic. We've got mushroom, we've got... Oh yeah, and that's it. <laughs> so, you're gonna, um, so you're gonna add stuff to it, and then is it nearly done, or how long have we got left? And then it'll be... Uh, this is about... Uh, God, you asked me very hard questions tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm now gonna put this in, bring it to the boil, then I'm gonna reduce the heat to low, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 25 minutes, let it simmer. Oh, so we've got ages, 25 minutes, minutes once yeah. you've done that. Okay, 25 minutes. So in the meanwhile, do you have a delivery here, which I'm gonna open, it's nothing too exciting, uh, but I am a member of Amazon Prime, so I get a lot of stuff from Amazon. And also, I need to regularly get almond butter, because I'm allergic to peanut butter, so we've got some Almond butter here, which is a one kilogram tub, but I um, we use it all the time for making our Nutribullet shakes. Um, so in here should be a few more packages that I've ordered, a few more of the products. Okay. Oh, they're in two separate boxes of their own. Let's get them open. Bam, there we go. So two big tubs of almond butter. The reason I get these on um, Amazon is just because they're so much cheaper overall uh, than if you just buy lots of the smaller ones that you get in the supermarkets. Uh, my only issue is still that almond butter is just so expensive compared to peanut butter and I can't have peanut butter so I have for these. Uh, but these are one kilogram tubs and I got them um, part of that subscribe and save thing on Amazon. So this is going to come, I think it's we get two packets every two weeks or something like that. But the last packet that we got of this brand we did find that it was really like oily and watery, it wasn't like thick and it does say to give it a good stir but even stirring it all in the consistency wasn't as thick as I wanted it to be so we're going to see what these are like and if they're not any thicker then we might switch brands but overall this is cheaper than if we just buy lots of those little like the little pots like you know kind of like little honey jars or jam jars that kind of size if we get them in supermarkets we were just going through them like crazy and spending a fortune so we thought this would save money with subscribing on amazon and actually um, hang on a second are yeah. they the same this time oh yeah so this time they're the same feel whereas the one we got before oh yeah is this one is like a different feel Oh, this is like, um, this feels smooth and glossy and this feels like a matte finish. Yeah. But they are the same. 
I mean, they are the same, yeah. It was, in fact, like they just changed their packaging slightly, yeah. like the materials. That's just intrigued. Maybe this is um, better for recycling, who knows? But there's loads. Oh, I'm just looking back at Florida 2018. The sign! Driving through here is so much fun, but of course they've repainted it now, so I really want to drive through there. And, um, where's the other bit? Oh yeah, this one. This one is um, me with Richard and my niece, and we are in front of the sign at Happily Ever After, and we love that so much that we stole it. And we have it here in Cinderella's coach house. Oh, I obviously got the frame to match as much as possible. Um, I found that online and then got this printed uh, and put it together and it is supposed to be, oh, you can kind of see me in the reflection, hi. Uh, and it's kind of supposed to, as much as possible, replicate the one here that you see when you first when you first go in the Magic Kingdom, you know when you go onto the railway that you can either go left or right. If you go left, this was on the left hand side on the wall. Um, so that's what we tried to replicate. Oh, good times. But we can just pretend whilst we're at home. Richard, do you remember that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I took I, so I had, uh, that was taken on my iPhone, I wasn't loved it? That day. I had the waterproof case on so I could take lots of photos in the water. Look how brown um, I am, oh no. You tan really well, but that's Typhoon Lagoon. Just as that splash is coming in, I took a photo and that's really well timed. Look, <laughs> your face is hilarious. Ah! And then I think this one must be at Disney Springs. I remember buying these ears for one of my nieces and she put it on her head and moaned that the grip, like the headband, like hurt her head and it hurts, so of course, naturally, I said, okay, well, I'll just wear them. So here I am as Minnie Mouse, yay! And then look how elegant my sister makes this picture look, holding the balloons on Main Street USA. And then, wait there, look, she looks good in all of them. She's so photogenic. And then you get to me. <laughs> Why am I standing in like this really bad first position when I'm not a ballet dancer? Awkward thumbs up, and I love uh, the cast member, <laughs> she has to hold it for you, it, just in case you let go, all the balloons will fly away. So you have to kind of imagine, we go, let me just crop her out. <laughs> oh dear, what is that pose? Oh, Richard, do you remember this one? Oh yeah, that was a good night. This is the first time Richard ever, ever had went. been to Florida, but also the first time I'd ever been to America. So I took him, I think this is January, it was quite cold. That was January, It yeah. was January, went for a couple of weeks, and this, we went straight to the Magic Kingdom. Look at us in our ponchos. Look how, we look skinnier as well. I was going to say my teeth. Oh, you look so, yeah. <laughs> um, but Happily Ever After was on, and it was absolutely chucking it down. Look, there's like, hardly anyone there. I know you can't see very well. There was hardly anyone there, and we, I forced him to stay out. It was so wet. Um, it was hard to look up at the fireworks, it was really bad, but I forced him to watch it anyway and it was chucking it down. Most people had left the park and it was so bad that the next day I had to go to Disney Springs and go to Zara and buy new trainers oh my because day. my trainers were still soaked. So they hadn't, they, they were still soaked, that. couldn't wear them at all, they were totally, totally ruined. So, and I think they took like a week. Because we were in a hotel room yeah, at the time, we went in a villa. Soaked. They were soaked for ages and I just couldn't dry them, so I had to buy new trainers and wear <laughs> them for the rest of the holiday. But it was worth it because we watched Happily Ever After in the rain. And we did get to go back and watch it okay. another time yeah. with a nice evening weather when it's and lukewarm. Tinkerbell didn't fly the first night. That's what I was really Yeah, about. she didn't fly. I hate when she doesn't fly. I obviously understand for safety reasons why she can't always fly. Um, you don't want a fairy being struck by lightning. <laughs> uh, but also, um, but yeah, the fact that we got to go back and, and you know, we've seen it plenty of times since then. Uh, but I was like, we've travelled all this way, you will have to watch Happily Ever After on your first night here to make it magical, but the weather was awful. It was uh, but it was worth it, never mind. Minnie, do you want to go to Florida? You look excited. Oh yeah, so the oven baked risotto with bacon and mushroom, pretty much looks like the picture. Well done, Richard. Yeah! So I'm gonna tuck into this and see if it's as good as it looks. Well, that was delicious. So, Richard, compliments to the chef. Thank <gasps> you. What have you got? <laughs> Did you hear that? Thank you, Min <laughs> Minnie has decided <laughs> now's the time to be squeaky. 
Oh, hello, hello. Uh, so, something came in the post today. What is it? So, uh, two day was it two days ago? Yeah, two days ago I ordered a new l little C-shaped table. Um, because basically we've got these new chairs here yeah. and I thought I wanted a table uh, to shove in the middle here and to work on. So we actually uh, tried these for you, didn't we? You um, tried this this one here. Yeah. You tried lifting over. But yes. And actually, oh you can see the ring mark. And actually uh, it just wasn't, uh, Minnie, leave it. <laughs> Don't eat the box. Whoa. <laughs> um, it was just not quite right and I wanted a C-shaped one, so I ordered it. Yeah, so we're just going to see if it works. Um, we can't have something too big here, we don't have a lot of space, but Mini we'll just see how this table works, see if we can fit it in and I hope we can just build it tonight. I presume it's a little flat-packed one that we put together. I've been together. so excited, obviously we're in lockdown and I've been so excited to receive this. The let's little things. Go. Yeah, let's have a look. So I think this is the... Must be the base of it. It's actually really um heavy. <laughs> well I was gonna say it is it iridescent? When it is like it's really sparkly, it's almost like it's got mini oh, yeah, it's bits of glitter in. Mini's inspecting it. And then this is the oh, mind the packaging. This is the top. So I guess this is going to <laughs> Mini's like, what is this? I guess that's gonna <laughs> kind of sit like that, floating a, above it, and then it'll there'll be a stand and there'll be a glass panel that sits on the top there of there. I've not seen it, so I'm just guessing oh, yeah, how this looks. Oh yeah, there's the legs. Well yeah, Richard did this, and it will, I guess it'll just sit there and then it can just pop over a side. We'll see how it works. Hmm. Luckily, it's actually really simple to stick the legs in because it's an Allen key. So, two holes in there, and then we'll put the other one in here, and then we're probably halfway, halfway <laughs> there already. So it's really quick. Well, that was probably the quickest thing I've ever put together. A couple of Allens in the bottom and a couple of Allens in the top, and now we're ready just to put the glass panel in, and then it's done. So that was very simple. Ah, oh, look. I'm excited. Richard's scared. <laughs> look at the reflection of the light on my face. <laughs> I'm Harry Potter with two stars. <laughs> right, are we ready to put this glass panel in? What are you doing? Uh, easy peel sticker. Oh, there's a sticker on it that's not easy peel. Ah. Okay, ready? Ah. Careful, don't break it. In, on, steady, ish. Well done. There we go. So it kind of matches the feet of the chair. And hopefully, we wanted something that was high enough so that when you sit down it can kind of come out over your lap and then you can have your laptop on it and the rest of the time it can just sit in between the chairs with, I don't know, a vase on and flowers or probably a Disney picture or a Disney ornament. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so... Does it fit? That looks alright. Apart from only seeing your bum. Perfect. Looks really high. Yeah, I got a high one though, because I was like... I yeah, you want, you want it high so it slides over, yeah. like over your lap. Try, um... I'm really nervous, is that weird? No, just just try turning it to I you then. I have this on here. Okay. So if I'm working... Obviously you've got to not bash legs underneath, but... Oh. It's, um, it's like being on a plane, isn't it? It's like one of those little... Or on a train, when you get the little table that pops out. Does that work or is it weird? Really high actually. But you said when you were using the you were using one of these tables before, um, not quite as not quite as low as this. And it was too low because you were looking down and got neck ache, so for what it is, that might just do the job and oh, give yeah. it's just a little workstation, isn't it? So that you're fact, not I'm used to sitting, at the, like sitting at the sofa all the time or I sit and edit vlogs and do bits of work here because we don't actually have a dining table. This is the space we're working with. You so, know what would actually be better? It's all right. Yeah. I put it underneath this chair leg. Oh, so he's just kind of manoeuvred oh, yeah, it around the leg. Better. It's at a better angle. And then I can sit there like this. Well, we discussed options, and that was really the 
only thing we could do that made sense because we didn't really have space to have a proper table here. Any a little low coffee table isn't really any good for working on. It's fine in a coffee shop, but not if you're working there longer. So this is the right height. It's a temporary solution. Is that it the is saying? Temporary yeah. Until we have a lovely big dining room. <laughs> Although we're back in an office again, but hey, it's COVID, so for now we will make do with this. What do you think, Minnie? Do you like your new table? What do you think? Is it nice there? It's a little cosy, cosy nook for when you're replying to all of your fans. Sniffing the table. Good girl! What do you think? You're not sure. <laughs> You're confused. You're coming down. Okay. What are you doing now, Russ? Um, I am just trying to edit the video for tomorrow, which is the pancakes, big gay pancakes Ooh. thing. Which actually, for that vlog, that means it's yesterday's video. That oh yeah. Yeah. So I, we, this is for tomorrow, but for you, it'll be yesterday. Um, but I'm just trying to sort out whether this, I could try to do like a music video effect and I can't work out if it's awful or quite cool in a retro throwback rubbish kind of way. <laughs> like your t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, like, so I've just tried something out that I just thought I'd do. Um, but it's pretty late anyway. What do you think of, um, dinner? Oh, uh, oh yeah, you said what you thought. Um, it was okay. <laughs> I actually liked it. It went. Um, it was really quick to eat, though. Yeah, it was. It felt like there wasn't much there compared to your. Oh god, I can't speak. Compared to normal. Yeah, with what I was saying about Hello Fresh doing like good sized portions, yeah. it was nice, but it felt more like a large starter. Yeah, I agree. Or a small. Um, it was very. It was very lemony. But maybe that was because I just put too much oh, in, but oh, I, no, I didn't mind it. I actually it. liked it. I liked the bit of like zesty freshness to it. Because any, if, if you think about a mushroom risotto, normally it doesn't have that That's true. Light, that lightness to it, the zestiness. So I, I liked it. Yeah, it was fine. For me, it was just a bit of a plain risotto, really, with, um, with bacon in it. And I'm not being negative. That's just me thinking what oh, I thought. You can have your opinion. Um, but yeah, a bit of a hello fresh at the minute. And I think it is because there have been basic recipes this week. So obviously we've got two days now and then we've got well, we've our got... next one. No, it comes... Oh no, it's because it's gone midnight, so we've got a day off. Oh yeah, sorry. We've yeah. got a day off, then the next one comes on Friday. Oh yeah, because we had pancakes this week, that's why we did six meals. Yeah, pancakes replaced, yeah, we would have had the result. Oh yeah, I forgot about yet. that. Well, um, it's gone midnight, so I think I'm ready for beds, but I need to clear this, tidy this up a bit. Um, Otherwise, I think that's it for this vlog. I think, yes, yeah, so obviously we've got the new table, had risotto, looked at some Disney pics, looked at Minnie, who's been a lovely little angel. There she is. Hey, Minnie. Such a sweetheart. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, um, hit that like button wherever it may be. Um, if you want to subscribe, it's completely free, so subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get notifications every time we upload a new video. And also if you've got any comments, questions or want to tell us what to do, then you can leave a comment below. Um, I have realised that if you are watching on like an Apple TV or through a Fire Stick on your TV, I don't think you can leave comments, right? So you'd have to do that through like your phone or iPad or Android device or something like that. That's something that came to my attention recently. But yeah, that's it. Bye from me, Wussy and Richard and, and Minnie. 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 Minnie.